Hi, my name is Michelle and in this video I'm going to show you how I flipped free furniture and made over $500 in profit. Now I'm going to tell you where I found this furniture, um, what I did to this furniture to make it ready to sell and then how much I sold it for, for each piece. So to make this $500 in profit, I sold five pieces of furniture and they were all chairs. And one of the things I love about flipping chairs is that they're easy to work with. I can pick them up and move them around by myself and they usually sell quickly, which I love. And the other thing is they usually don't require a lot of time or effort that I have to put in to get a decent amount of profit. Also, if you like this kind of content, I like to do DIY projects around the house. I flip furniture, I make over furniture and rooms. If you like that kind of thing, subscribe below and give this video a like. But in the meantime, let's get into the furniture flips. And here is furniture flip number one. So here we have two beautiful chairs that I actually picked up and they were free. So we have twice a year where I live, we have where you can put large items out on your curb um, and they'll be taken to the trash. But a lot of people actually will pick up those items, reuse them, which is fantastic because um, then they're not going to landfill. And me and my husband found these two beautiful chairs on the side of the road. So we're going to give them a clean up and make them look beautiful and see how much we can sell them for. Now, I do want to show you a couple of things about these chairs. First of all, I love the mid-century modern legs on this guy um, and the little tufted back, but there are a couple of things that we're going to have to go in and fix. So this one has some nicks on the legs that will probably give a good coat of um, polish to make them look nice. And then we've got some, I guess, peeling going on here, these little balls in the fabric that we're going to use our depilling machine on. Now, uh, this one does also have this corner, which has obviously been stitched up previously. I'm not great with sewing, so I will probably leave this as is and just make it really clear on the listing that we have this situation going on. And then we have this gorgeous guy. I love the tufted back. And I also love these little legs on casters. So these guys are a little bit loose, so we'll need to go in and tighten them up. And on the seat here, we've got quite a few stains that you can see there that we're going to give a really good go with the Bissell to make sure that it comes up nice. All right, so I'm going to give these guys a good vacuum first, just because they were outside on the curb. I could go straight to Bissling, but I just want to get off any dust or anything they might have picked up there off first before I give them a good clean. While these guys are still dry, I'm going to go in with my depiller. Basically, this just helps shave off all those little bits that we can see along here. done. Now if you have a look you can see how much work that we picked up and it just helps them look a little bit nicer so there you go. Okay so I'm gonna give these guys a free spray with my Bissell 
So basically that means I spray all over and I leave it for about 10 minutes to let it soak in and activate. Now I use the Bissell Pro Oxy Spot and Stain Clean in my Bissell machine. Um, it's what came with it and it's worked really well for me so far. And for any tough stains, in here I've got a very watered down version of um, OxyClean. And I'm going to spray that on any tough looking stains. And then I'm going to give it a really good scrub just with a normal dish brush and some clean water. Um, just to get that in there and hopefully clean up those stains. for 10 minutes okay so it's been 10 minutes so I'm gonna go around and give this a clean Time to put it in the sun. Okay, so on the back of this chair, you can see some little bits of white paint. There's a couple of other sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some acetone, 100% acetone. Put a little bit on a cloth and just give that a little a little rub to see if I can get that off. There we go. So you do want to do a spot check on this because sometimes acetone can fade the fabric and give you faded spots if the colour in the fabric isn't colour fast. Um, so always do a spot check first to make sure that you're not going to wreck the fabric. So this chair sold for $70, which I was really excited about. Um, and that was $70 of profit. Now this gorgeous chair, I actually had it listed for $50, but I had somebody come and say, could you hold it for me for a couple of days and actually pay an extra $20. So in total, I sold this chair for $70. So that was a nice $70 of profit. Okay, we've got this gorgeous old school looking orange chair and I actually picked this guy up for free. So there was a curb alert on Facebook Marketplace um, and they said this one was out for it and it was free and messaged them and said, what's your address? I'd love to have it. Half an hour later, I was picking it up. So I've already given this a good vacuum um, just because they did say they'd been keeping it in their garage. So I wanted to give it a good vacuum first. Now we're going to take this skirt off because underneath it's got these nice little mid-century modern legs and we want to expose those. Okay, so while I have this chair up, I am just going to go in with a little bit of old English furniture polish. Um, this one's for dark wood and I'm just going to use a cloth and go in and give it a little bit of a shine. So I've got my toolkit here for de-skirting the grandma skirts. 
So what I like to use, I've got my staple puller outer. Um, don't know what its official name is, but I think that's a good one for it. I've got uh, this little tool, which helps me jimmy in between the fabric and the staples, helps me get started. Sometimes I just use this to go around the whole thing. Um, and these actually came together in a set that I got off Amazon. They were between five to ten dollars for the set. Um, before I got these, I'd just been using pliers and a Phillips, um, sorry, a screwdriver, and way easier. Um, I do have my screwdriver just in case. I've got my pliers in case I get a good grip and can rip the skirt. And I've also got my scissors because sometimes it's easy to, once I get in there, cut it so I've got something to hold on to and rip. So having said that, let's do it. Oh yeah, these ones are coming out nice and easy, so I'll probably just keep going with my little crowbar here, for want of a better word, because it is getting those staples out nice. Alright, so what I usually like to do now is chop down here, just so it's a little bit easier to get those staples out. I went in and grabbed my fabric scissors because I find they just have a better blade on them and it's usually a little bit easier to cut than if I use normal scissors. Alright, let's see if we can uh, do a bit of ripping. When I rip the skirts off, I usually end up with some staples sticking out. So I just go in with my pliers and take them out. One piece. So I'm about to go in on the orange chair with my D pillar. Okay, that's looking so much better. And now I'm gonna go in with my Bissell, my little green Bissell and give it a really good clean. Now this chair, in all fairness, it did sit for a couple of weeks on Facebook Marketplace but I stayed patient and ended up getting a full price offer at $150. So that was a really nice $150 profit. So my last furniture flip here was really exciting. I found on Facebook Marketplace a list for two of these gorgeous royal blue uh, velvet swivel rockers and they were for free. So somebody just wanted them gone and I said, yes, I'll send my husband on his way home. He'll pick them up. Little did I know these people lived on um, in a house where the balcony was up two flights of stairs. So they left them out on the, on the balcony for him to collect, but he had to literally take these two chairs down two flights of stairs by himself. So he definitely did an amazing job there. And these chairs, I actually left them in my garage for a month or two while I decided what to do with them. They had um, a little bit of damage, but nothing too bad. And I knew I'd just very clearly show this in my listing photos so people knew what they were getting. However, they were missing some of their tufted buttons. And I thought for a while that I would be able to replace those buttons and I ordered some online. It took forever for them to be delivered. And once they were delivered, they were a different color. So I decided I would just clean up these chairs. I gave them a good bissel and a vacuum. I ripped off the skirts on the swivel rockers like I did with the orange chair that you just saw and they had these gorgeous wooden bases on them that looked really good and all I did was took very clear photos of the missing buttons and also their damage so people were aware 
And that was a really good lesson for me. People are still happy to have furniture that has some wear and tear, long as they know exactly what they're getting. So I'm just very clear on those photos and people are very happy then. And what was super exciting is I ended up selling these chairs for $225. I actually sold them separately. I had one lady buy one chair for $100 and I had another lady buy the other chair for $125. So that gave us an amazing profit of $225 on these free chairs. So now you've seen those four flips of five chairs in total. That gave me a very nice profit of just over $500. So just to recap, we had the first mid-century modern chair that we sold for $70, the second grey chair that we sold for $70 in total in the end, we had the orange chair with those beautiful little tapered mid-century legs that we sold for $150, and then we had the blue velvet set of swivel rockers that we ended up selling for $225. And that gives us a really nice profit of $515. So as you can see, this turned out really well for me. So I guess I hope it's inspiration to anybody that's thinking about flipping furniture, that you don't have to put a lot of money in to start with. You can start with some free furniture that you can put to better use. Maybe you give it a bit of a clean and sell it. So hopefully this has inspired other people to see what you can do and what kind of profits you can make. And if you enjoyed this video, think about subscribing below, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.